Hey everyone, welcome to Project Breach. This is Project Breach Online. This is the second game. Uh, Project Breach regular is still available. I haven't made a video on this game uh, at all. Uh, and I haven't made a video on the other game. But uh, what I can say right now is uh, it's a big improvement. It's a huge step up in comparison to the first game. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't just update the first game. I'm, I'm guessing it, it's probably coding issues or something. Um, I'm running this on blue stacks right now. So I already set up all my vines, which is a pain because the game crashed multiple times. And I'm running this on the high settings. Something I... Something I don't really, I'm not really fond of is the new loadout system, which doesn't give you the ability to change uh, items and health, uh, and also weapon choice as well. There's a new sight system, and this game has double currency, which I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and say um, I'm not really a fan of double currency. I think it's a big pain, but I can get by it here because I like. I like Will, the developer, and I like this game. So there's a pass right there. And uh, the uh, the loadouts follow military code, so A through Z. And uh, and this one right here, this is a forbidden a forbidden one. They should have said Sierra, but uh, that is the forbidden the forbidden name right there for a loadout. So um. Yeah, this game has multiplayer support. That's mainly what it was uh, advertised for in the previous game, which was updated recently. Um, and also linked in the Discord as well. So, those were, there were some sneak peeks in the Discord on the new and improved Project Breach. Uh, I'd say it's an improvement. I, I think I already said that, but yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a real game. It's a real thing. So... Uh, I, I already made some progress. Uh, I played Warehouse, and I failed. So we're going to play Warehouse. Um, there's some things missing in this new game, like the Chris and the USP, which happen to be on display here. Um, there's still single-player uh, support, and uh, it's limited to single-player when you click on it. So that's good. I'm glad that single-player still exists here. Uh... I can get by the new currency system, but uh, there's no new, di there's no difficulty changes. Uh, the, the only real thing you can do is just play the game. So you aren't gonna be able to change the difficulty as you wish. There used to be extreme, and easy, and normal. How did I get this one? Oh, okay. Wait, what? I cannot aim. Yeah, and there's also new enemies, so, like that one, there's a grenader enemy. And, uh, the magazine system remains the same as it has in the previous game, where, uh, reloading on non-empty mags, uh, just recycles the mag, you don't actually save it, which is something I really wish you could do. But it adds to the whole feeling of... Having an idea on how to play the game, it really makes you think whether you should remove the mag or not, and it gets you to uh, it gets you to remember how many rounds you have in a magazine. Uh, I hope that one day you're gonna be able to check how much ammo you have in the magazine, so that you're you're less hesitant. But uh. Yeah, no, the, the game's nice. Changes are nice. Um, there's new traps, and the props are spawned randomly, and the enemies are spawned randomly. Ow. Okay, that's the first time I got shot. And, yeah, they, uh, the enemies do 10 damage. Uh, the base enemies. I don't know about the commanders. Uh, oh, what? Where from? What? Oh. You knifey, knifey. Yes. Sorry. So, uh, knifing is automatic, and you can still vault objects, which is nice. Big plus. Um, 
the, the only thing is this is automatic as well, which is irritating. Uh, you can move the props by shooting them, which is cool. Uh, okay, I didn't play around with the physics there, and sometimes they just break like that. We wasted an entire mag, but it was definitely worth it. Also, the silencer. Oh no, the entire weapon model. I'm gonna walk into this. That didn't do anything. That did nothing. Ow. Um. It's still, it's still kind of CS goes. Ow. Um, yeah, so if you're moving while shooting, you're less accurate, and the bullets go flying out everywhere like it's SWAT 4, like you just woke up and you need to use the bathroom. Um, probably my favorite part of the update so far is, uh, is the trailer for the update. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you were doing, Will, but <laughs> the ragdolls were buggy in that trailer, man. One of them was. It was really funny. Sneaky. No, sneaky. Sneaky. I got him. Yeah, so the barbed wire doesn't hurt you. you it just slows you down. And, uh, there's landmines, too. Love how shooting the landmines disables the traps. That, that makes sense. And the landmine is a trap, so... Uh, that's cool. It's a it's a mission success. We can go ahead and you can do the double for more. Um, you can do the double for uh, more money, and all of the classes are really really expensive. Uh, as they were in the previous game, of course. I didn't even realize that I had two of these. So. Um, I'm pretty sure there were three gadgets back then. I can't remember. Yeah, no, there were three gadgets back then. So you had three gadgets and one special. And what 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 I can say here is, I mean, I mean, they're all just gadgets. But I, I'd assume in breaching charge is your special. But you get the flashbang and the grenade, and then the breaching charge if you had the breach class back then, which was the most overpowered class, obviously. Um. Because you had more health and you had all the items at your disposal. But if you went with other items, then that's cool. Uh, the drones, I don't favor the drones. Uh, but you will now since uh, since all the um, enemy spawns are random. The enemy spawns weren't random back then. And then there's a thermal vision and the ammo bag, which is new. And the riot shield as well. There's a lot of new things in this game. Like, a, a Barret. You can have a Barret in this game. It's a... It's an interesting choice for, uh... For, uh, breaching a home. But you can you can never get too much fun. You can never have too much fun. So... So, this... So, when I saw the intel and the enemies... It, super, like, superb. Heavily reminded me of, a uh, Ground Branch. So, uh... That's new. That's definitely new. You can't... You can't decide which objective you want to do. Wait, what? Aw, oh, dang it. I was thinking, hmm, so the props move around in the building, so... I'd hope that they did here. Uh, the ready room, um... Doesn't really make too much sense for single player. It's kind of just like extra steps. Um... But it's it's cool to see that it's kind of like ready or not in a way. I didn't use grapple at all. What, why does grappling to something? <laughs> what? <laughs> why? <laughs> the giant shake. It's you shake the entire ground when you hit something with a grapple. Um. Also, yeah, you can waste all your ammo and utilities in the ready room. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, you, you, you saw that, didn't you? You're, you're seeing that over there? Will. Will, what, what did you do, bud? Why, 
What did you do? Why are they all over there? Oh, I'm gonna try some tricks too. I know some tricks. Um, but they, they, they can shoot you through the glass. They can shoot you through. They can see you through the glass, and they can shoot through the glass without destroying it. That makes a lot of sense. You got knifey. Wait, if it's enemies, why is there intel around here? Is this extra? Oh, this one actually blinded me this time. I was running into the flashbang traps a while ago, and they didn't blind me. It's really weird how they place them. Hold on. <laughs> and... They, it doesn't appear that they're aware whatsoever that I got hit with the flashbang traps. Oh, okay. I'm gonna flash myself. Come on. There we go. Uh, uh, I, I went off screen. But look at the ragdoll! Oh, come on. Oh, the intel moves. That's cool. I got an idea. Yes! I got him. Let's go. Ow! Why did you do that? And uh, you can't click on restart, so you gotta go through this entire thing again. You gotta wait for this long sequence of getting out of the truck. Um, I hate the new spawn for the truck. I wish it was uh, somewhere else. I wish it was at the beginning here. But I guess that kind of makes sense why it's in the back, because there's a giant harbor over here. Um, so I'm trying to do the trick here. I'm trying to do the... Oh, was this patched? Hold on. You used to be able to glitch the grapple. Oh, I think it was patched. I don't, I don't remember... Hold on, unless, unless I'm doing it incorrectly, I are. Yes, yes! I'm doing the <laughs> I'm on top of the building now! I was trying to get over to the ready room. Okay. Now we can hit them from up top. This should be a thing in the game. He can't see me. Well, he does see me, but he can't shoot me. I like that model. Yo, that's a really good model for the truck. And there's no fall damage in this game, still. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 bro. Ayo, add collisions to this. <laughs> I could just walk through it. Ayo, now I got free cover and they can't hit me now. I wonder if you can get back in here. Get back. Get back in. Get back in. Let me. Let me in. Let me in. That sounds weird. Let me in. Okay. I guess not. Hold on. Alright, you can't scale it. Alright, too bad. Time to go do some damage. I don't think you need the intel, but it probably gives you... What? Maybe the... And there goes my, uh, HP. Yo, know, this shotgun just goes flying. Despite this being a breach game, it's still kind of arcadey. But yeah, no, it's still kind of arcadey. It has that arcadey feel to it. I mean, y you can survive ten shots of seven six two. D I didn't know what that was. I'm sorry, game. I I didn't think I needed to know what that was. Um, let's do this again. Let's actually try to do it this time. But, uh, I'm glad to see that there's still some value here, like the glitches and stuff. That's the thing with some of these games. You can just limit their visibility so they can't shoot you anymore. 
happens in a lot of games. It feels too cheap, so you move out like just a set. You move a centimeter more out of uh, out of the wall, and then they can see you and kill you instantly. Yo, can they stop blocking this off? Yep, that's how that works, apparently. Oh, how'd you kill me? Okay, I'm bad at shooting. Hold on. There we go. It's like I'm lucky, right? Yeah, okay. I already know there's enemies here. Watch. Yes, I got two of them. I got two of them. Let's go. That's good. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this before. This, uh, this game still has a... Still has a Counter-Strike or SWAT 4 kind of thing going for it. So, if you're moving while shooting, you, uh... You... Okay, game. Alright, I see how it is. As I was saying, you wake up... Um... And start leaking in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, that's about how the accuracy is while you're just moving around. You can't hit a dang thing when you're moving around. Um, so, that makes a lot of sense. But, uh... It's like anti... It's like anti-movie logic. But, uh, it's also make no sense logic. That's uh, that's some good logic. You can't even hit anything. It's you have to be aiming down the side, right? Call of Duty moment. Call of Duty, any of the Modern Warfare's moment, any of the Black Ops moment. I've played with a few people on what the oh my gosh okay hold on watch this watch this that's not gonna do anything but oh I got rid of all of it okay ow don't ever hit me with that shotgun again don't do it don't do it you tried you tried to do it good thing this is elimination I like intel from ground branch but elimination I can go with that There's also, um, what was, what was the saying earlier? But yeah, no, um, I played with someone on Ground Branch that has probably the best accuracy I've ever seen. I don't know if they were using their crosshair or something, but they weren't using their sights and they were hitting the, the terrorists from around a mile away. They had the accuracy of... Like, a boy was a Davy Crockett. But, uh... Yeah, that about does it. Uh, I'd say it's, I'd say it's a lot better of an experience on, uh, mobile. Simply because you can take it anywhere. But, yeah, no, this is, this is definitely a game you want to play if you're a fan of... Oh, okay, I like the sight positioning on here. I like how it looks on the rail doesn't look awkward or interesting in the site. Oh, hey, look, it's actually aligned. But, uh, yeah, no, it's it's definitely a game you'll want to play when you're out and about or you're at your job and you have some free time. Or you're at school and it's just an hour-long movie class. This is, this is a nice game to play. Oh, I can't hit a thing now. Come on, bro. See us go actors. See a moment. I could have knifed him. How are you not seeing me? How are you not seeing me? inside the barbed wire, which is supposed to kill me by now. <laughs> the ragdolls! Sitting in that barbed wire does no damage for some reason. Ow. 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 
gonna go assassinate them. No, you don't seem to see me. Oh. Imagine doing a knife only run on this game. Ow! Okay, I'm dead. Alright, well, that, that about does it now. I think I've already said that. That's uh, Project Breach, uh, the uh, the new update. I will play multiplayer, probably, for this game. Uh, that's the entire point of the update, really, is for multiplayer. But I figured, hey, I need to, up I need to upload, and uh, this would be a good game to do it. Um, I'll be talking about more mobile games in the future. Uh, if you want this, it's available on the Play Store right now. Uh, and you can also get it on Bluestacks, too, because Bluestacks and Play Store, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, and I'll also make some new No More Room in Hell content as well, and uh, probably some Ground Branch, because I like those games, they're fun, um, we'll, uh, we'll see in the next one.